University of Kansas Alzheimer's Disease Center is one of 31 nationally designated Alzheimer's Disease Centers, and so we're part of this network that's funded by the National Institutes of Health, or the NIH, um, to, to basically bring together a bunch of resources that we've developed and, and fight Alzheimer's disease. Really what we're trying to do as a center is support investigators, support scientists who are studying Alzheimer's disease, and we do that in a lot of different ways. Our ultimate focus is to cure Alzheimer's disease. That's our mission, is cure it or prevent it. So Alzheimer's is a type of dementia, and it causes memory and thinking changes that interfere with daily function and basically take away everything that, that you know, made us who we, who we are. In Alzheimer's, we see uh, the buildup of abnormal proteins in the brain, something called amyloid and something called tau, which is part of the tangle. So we see the buildup of amyloid plaques and tangles in the brain, and we see the loss of brain cells. So we see shrinkage of the brain um, early on in the memory center and then later on basically across the entire brain. There's also a lot of other things that uh, are going on, and we're getting smarter about what those things are. Well, one of the ideas that, that our center is primarily driving is the idea that this that a failure in energy metabolism this failure in the mitochondria that are so responsible for maintaining proper energy metabolism that there's a breakdown in this system and that leads to the problems that we then see including the plaques and the tangles and the dementia the neurodegeneration we're one of the few labs in the world that is really literally going from bench to bedside. So in the laboratory, we're working out at the, at the molecular level what the problems are. Interventions that we've developed in the lab, we're actually now testing in the clinic. So a, a true bench to bedside program based on, on science that, that we're primarily driving. We take a lot of our cues from, um, from what's around us. We, we, we take our cues from lifestyle factors such as exercise and diet because we can manipulate the body's energy metabolism. In recognizing that, in recognizing how those interventions are changing energy metabolism, we can then develop drugs that will do the same thing drugs that will mimic the effects of exercise or mimic the effects of a certain diet, always geared towards enhancing brain energy metabolism. The Alzheimer's Center here at the University of Kansas brings together a wide group of people. You know, it really does take a village. We're uh, working really hard, not just to, to do the research for Alzheimer's disease, but to take better care of people who are dealing with Alzheimer's disease. One of the biggest barriers for us moving the science of Alzheimer's forward is recruiting participants, finding the volunteers. We think of every, every volunteer as being part of the team. Some of the guys were already participating in the program, so they asked me if I would, because from my understanding that there's very few African Americans that do participate in this program. I had a couple of visits with him and I decided I would. I have not met one person that I didn't truly like and enjoy and would like to call my friend. And I'm learning that physical activity, friendship, there's so many things that you can do on your own. Get educated. Find out what you need to do. Um, you know, we're equals, you know, in this and we're all fighting from different angles, but we're, we're a team. You know, we've enrolled over a thousand people in our studies and we need a good thousand right now for our future studies that are already planned. It's a community effort, you know, we can't do it without the community.